Hi, boys and girls. This is Sister Robinson. How are you doing today? Today is our second day of VBS. Are you excited? Yes. All right. For our lesson today, we are going to talk about um, believing what God has promised. We're going to, you know, just try to learn about God's promises and how he is always, always keeping his promises. So, Let's get into our lesson for today. We're going to read the scripture, Hebrews 10, 39, but we do not belong to those who shrink back and are destroyed, but to those, the, the, those who have faith and are saved. So it's just saying that, you know, as Christians, as people who believe in God, you know, we believe what God has promised us. And it doesn't matter what happened. We believe because we know that it's true. All right, so do you like slime? Does anybody like slime? Because I love slime. Would you like some slime? What if your parents or grandparents promised to get you some? <sighs> Would that be cool? Wow, if somebody promises to get me some, I would be excited. How about you? If your parents or grandparents promise to get you some, hmm, would you believe that you will get it? Would you wait for it, knowing that you will get it someday? Maybe today, maybe tomorrow? What if your parents promised to get you something? Would you believe it? Yes, I would believe. If my parents say, you know, I promise to give you something, I am going to believe, right? Because you believe, because you believe in your parents. You know your parents love you. You know your grandparents love you, right? So if they say, I am going to get something for you, you know what? I think that you're going to get it, right? I think I am going to get it, right? So this is something that we know. But let's think about God. God loves us so much. He loves us so very much that whatever he promises us, we will get it. He will give it to us. All we need to do is believe in him, trust in him, do what is right, be kind to others, right? Be kind, be respectful to others, right? Treat people right, because we know when we do all of these things, the things that God wants us to do, whatever he promises us, he will give it to us because we believe and we know and we're doing what is right. We're going to learn about, today we're going to learn about a um, couple of stories in the Bible. It's going to show us, um, some, you know, of these people, they believe the promise and they got it. In this story, in 2 Kings 4, 14 to 17, there was a, 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 a woman, a Shumanite woman. That's a big word, right? It's, it's a Shumanite woman. It's from a place called Shuman, right? Shunam, sorry. Shunam, that's a place called Shunam. And there was this person, Elisha in the Bible, and he went to this town called Shunem, and this town is where we live, right? Some of us live in Hamilton, some of us live in Burlington, some of us live in Trenton, some of us live in different places, so that's the name of the town, so this is a town, it's called Shunem, right? So, okay, so Elisha, he went to this town called Shunem, and in this town, there was a rich woman. She was very rich. She had a lot of money. And Elisha always loves going there. And this woman who had a lot of money, she loves having Elisha there. It's just like, you know, your, your friends come and visit you or your grandparents come and visit you or your sis, your, you know, your cousins come to visit you and you love having them. Well, this woman... He loves having Elisha there. So she said to her husband, let us build a room. Let's build a room so when Elisha comes over, Elisha can stay here, right? So guess what? Elisha, he was so happy. He was so grateful that this woman, the Shunammite woman, she built him a room. And he was so excited and he was happy. So he said, what can I do for you? That's what he asked the woman. What can I do for you? Because you were so kind to me. And the woman, mm, she said, mm, you know what? I'm just happy to do it. But Elisha has a servant. 
And Elisha said to the his servant, what can I do for this woman? Because she's so kind to me. And you know what the servant said? She said, he, the servant said, I didn't see her with any children. And Elisha said, that's it. That's what I'm going to do. I am going to give her. I am going to let her have a baby. And Elisha said to this woman, this kind woman who built the womb for him, he said, by this time next year, one year from now, I am going, you are going to have a baby boy. And guess what happened? It came to pass. It happened. This woman, this rich Shunammite woman, she had a baby boy. She was so excited about it. Yes, she was. She didn't ask for it, but Elisha promised her that she would have it. You know, remember the promise? So Elisha promised her and she had a baby boy. Well, guess what happened? Years later, the boy became sick and he died. And what do you think happened? This woman was so sad. She was so sad. She didn't ask for this baby, but she got it because Elisha promised her. And now the baby was the baby was dead. And she was so sad. And you know what? She went to see Elisha and she said, you know what? I didn't ask for this boy. You gave this boy to me. And now he's gone. And guess what? Elisha prayed to God. He prayed to God. Guess what happened? In the end, the baby awoke. The baby came alive. The baby was alive. That was the promise. See, when God promises something, it will come to pass no matter what. No matter what happens, it is going to happen. Another one that we saw, another um, story that we saw in the Bible, it's about Jacob. Jacob, Jacob has a brother. Who has a brother? Does anybody have a brother? I do. I have a brother. Now, Jacob, he had a brother, and this brother was named Esau. Now, Esau was the first son. So because Esau was the first son, Esau had a special blessing to get because he was born first. Jacob was tricky, and Jacob did not like that. And Jacob and his mother, they got tricky and they got Esau's blessing. Oh, that wasn't kind, right? That wasn't that wasn't a nice thing, right? Would you do that? No. And then because Jacob got Esau's blessing, guess what? Esau was mad. So Jacob ran away. And Jacob ran away. But guess what? God told Jacob later on to go back, to go back where his brother Esau was. And Jacob did not want to do that. And Jacob was very, Jacob knew that Esau was mad. He was mad and he said, if I go back there, oh, I don't know, I don't know. Esau is going to be mad with me. Esau is going to get me. But God promised him and said, you need to go back. You need to go back to that same town. So you know what es Jacob did? He sent a lot of gifts to Esau because Jacob was afraid. But God, but Jake, Jacob knew that God promised, but he was still afraid. He was so afraid he didn't want to go back, but God promised that he would be okay. And then he was in the camp, in the camp, and he was so afraid God promised him to go back, and he was terrified. And when he was there and he didn't want to go, there came a stranger. A man came there in the camp. And Jacob and this man, they were wrestling, they were fighting. Do you fight with your brothers or sisters? Jacob and this man, they were fighting and they kept fighting and they fought, fought so long and they wouldn't get off. And then, you know what happened in the end? The man put something on Jacob and he stood still. And guess what? Jacob said to the man, let me go. Let me go. And he said, you know what? Jacob said, I'm not going to let you go. There is something special about you. 
And you know what? I'm not going to let you go. It's like you're fighting with your brother and you say, or your sister and you say, oh no, I'm not going to give up. I'm just going to keep fighting and fighting and fighting. And Jacob said, I'm not going to let you go because there's something special about you. And there's something special about you. And I'm not letting you go until you bless me, until you give me that special blessing, until you bless me. Give me a blessing. And you know what the man said to Jacob, the stranger? He said, you know what, Jacob? You fought and you fought, you wrestled and you won. And guess what? Because of that, I am blessing you. Your name will now be called Israel. Because you fought, you wrestled, and you won. So what I'm trying to say to you boys and girls is that when God promises something, promises us something, it doesn't matter what happens. It, it, it is going to happen. He is going to make it come to be. So just keep being nice, be kind, keep do God's will, and God will give us whatever he promises. So on this page, I have the two stories that I talked about. You could click on these videos and you could watch these YouTube clips about this story. All right. Now to end our little activity here. I want us to do a breathing activity. All right. I want you to take a deep breath in. Go ahead. Do it with me. Let it out. Try it again. In. Let it out. Boys and girls, have you ever, have you ever just think about us breathing, that's God. That's God. He's causing us to breathe. Go it up. That's God. And God is causing us to breathe. So what I want to encourage you, boys and girls, I know you're young, but you're never too young to be kind and to do God's will. You're never too young to do what God asked us to do, to do good, be good, be kind, trust God, and God, whatever he promises us, he will give it to you. Have fun, and we'll see you tomorrow.